All right. Okay, let's begin. So some things are a bit different. Number one, you'll notice I have enchanted equipment. In addition, I can block hit now. I can run. I have chicken in the inventory. Food is stackable. And quite a lot else has occurred. I'm starting work on the farm, the second farm. Now, what happened to the first base? Are you guys wondering? It's still here. I never got rid of it. Just to... Just because I can show it off, I guess. Let's do it. Now, this base isn't finished, not by a long shot, but it definitely will be soon. In fact, if it wasn't for the color palette switching, it would be immediately noticeable that this location is from the minecart, the minecart rail earlier. So let's kill this pig really quickly. All right, I can run now. Why am I not running? It's because I'm trying not to. Okay, food. Oh yeah, we get experience now. So why did I update? I said I was gonna update after getting all the achievements. Well, the truth is, the very funny truth is that it was because of the saddle achievement. I figured that if I updated, I could get another fortress, which gives me more access to saddles. In addition, I will have access to a bit more achievements just to make these a bit more entertaining. So I might as well continue the excursion. As for how it feels to finally have a hunger bar again and be able to block like this, well, I gotta tell you, it's amazing. You know? I... I was a fan of this era's combat, base. effectively 1.0 to 1.8 is, to me, it's peak Minecraft. Now, don't get me wrong, the new updates are really cool, have a lot of cool additions to the game that really advance it beyond what it was before. But, wow, my render distance is small. Why did I, okay. However... I will admit that 1.0 added a lot of features that were not present in the beta. So give me a quick minute while I open up Google just to look up the changes in 1.0. Wow, I'm lagging. Not not on the game. I think the game was running fine. It's just the lag. And I specifically did this during... Wait. Where did the card go? Oh, here it is. So what was created? This is the adventure update, if I believe. Okay. So what occurred during this? It was initially named Beta 1.9, but that's not really what it is. Additions. So this added... Brewing stands, cauldrons, dragon eggs, enchantment tables, the end portal, end portal frames, and stone lily pads, mycelium, nether bricks, nether brick fences, nether brick stairs, nether wart, blade powder, blaze rods, eyes of ender, fermented spider eyes, gas tears, glass bottles, glistering felons, gold nuggets, and magma cream. Nine music discs were added, being 11 blocks, chirp, far, maul, mellow, he, stall, strat, ward. Nether warts were added, can be used for brewing. Potions were added, of various status effects, spider eyes, splash potions were added. Mobs that were added were mushrooms. Uh, we have baby chicks, calves, piglets, lambs, and blazes. Even though blazes aren't, uh, blazes are hostile and not nice. The Ender Dragon, a boss mob of a hundred hearts. Magma Cube, similar to the slime but immune to fire damage, immune to fall damage. We have snow golems, villagers. They have, I think, about six of them. They spawn in villages. The biomes are the frozen ocean, the frozen river, ice mountains, ice plains, mushroom island. The end is a new dimension. Some structures include the end portal room added to strongholds. I didn't realize that strongholds were already in the game in 1.8.1, but cool. Nether fortresses generated in the nether. Blazes spawn there. Breeding is now a thing. Brewing, enchanting, end poem credits, item repair. Putting two tools in the same weapon will create a weapon, a damage, a repair tool weapon. Achievements added diamonds, need to go deeper, return to center, the fire, local brewery, the end, and enchanter, overkill, and librarian. Hardcore mode was added. We now also have options for the video settings, clouds, and other items. We now have new server properties, some splash effects. 
and some changes. We have beds, so they no longer spawn monsters when the player is sleeping. We now have block of diamonds, block of gold, block of iron, and bookshelves. Specifically, that they they change the texture. <clears throat> Bricks have an altered texture. Bricks slabs have an altered texture. Coal ore cannot be smelted to obtain coal. What? Oh, right. If you have silk touch, I guess. Detector rails, dirt, doors, fences. Fire, glowstone. Yeah, fire above bedrock in the end will now burn forever. Uh, good to know. Glowstone, grass blocks have now changed textures, which is kind of sad. Gravel is different. Lapis lazuli ore cannot be smelted to obtain lapis lazuli. Lava is now changed. Uh, because previously lava would flow through water, but now it creates, you know, lava, now the water will create stone. If the lava is above a ceiling with a single thick particle, lava will drip above the player. Monster spawners were changed, nether rack was changed. Obsidian was changed, as it has now changed its hardness value from 10 to 50, which means that, um, the mining time is no less. Redstone ore can be used to obtain redstone dust, now these mines cannot be mined faster, thankfully. Sand was changed. Stone was changed, tall grass, water, wooden planks, wooden slabs were changed. Items play. Now with sound plays when items break. The do sound that you guys are all aware of. Axes now break. Previously only a few wood related blocks faster than by hand. In other words, we can now break crafting tables quickly, I believe. Bows appear in third person when held. I no longer need ammo. Um, I mean, not ammo. I no longer have infinite uses. Now instead it's 385 and a few other added items. Ender pearls are now a thing. Golden apples now have a glint in the inventory. In other words, they look like they're enchanted. Milk is drinkable. Drinking milk sets potion effects. Pickaxes now all break. Previously only pre other blocks faster. You know, block of diamond, gold, iron, dispenser, furnace, iron bars, iron doors, much spawn obsidian, redstone, or redstone bricks are now faster to mine. Redstone is now can be used for brewing. It extends fire resistance, slowness, swiftness, poison, weakness, and strength. Redstone can now be have a a circle shape rather than a flush shape. Shears added shear sounds. Shovels now mine souls and faster than my hand, and swords now deal less damage depressingly. Diamonds used to do five hearts, now they do three and a half. Some mobs, such as the and you know the, the mobs now change. That's about it. So that's what was added. I'm mostly concerned with the new with the new achievements, just so I can get this done. Oh my gosh, it turned nighttime. Oh yeah, if you notice, it's bright now. The game is in pitch black, and I also got a run button. Although I technically would have had the run button in 1.8.1, I figured I might as well just have it here just to show it off. And now let's kill this Enderman and see if I can maybe get an Ender Pearl. Did I get it? No. Oops. Why did I do that? Oh my gosh, I cannot aim. That or it's either that or my or my controller. My controller. My mouse just isn't as good as it should be. Weird. Okay, let's kill a creeper as well. Isn't that cool that we can do that? I think it is. It's amazing. And torches are brighter now. We can see in the dark clearly. Honestly, that's the best. Uh, that's the best achievement. Achievement uh, added item. Oh, I don't wonder if I showed this off already. But first, as you can see, the trees now look more depressing, including the white tree of Gondor that is not really white anymore. My cactus farm kind of works. It never really worked back then, so. There's that, my little shrine to the little old video. My nether portal, I'm gonna build it over there now. This tree farm is gonna be created. Just to show you guys how bright the world is now. Oh yeah, chests are now different size. It's so nostalgic, it's, although in a different way. Uh, let's also collect all this glass that I've been hoarding up. Also, let's cook this chicken. But still, though, let's collect the glass first. Um, I, I have plenty of resources still here. I'm not saying goodbye to this place completely. 
just for the time being while I make the new sky base. This will still be the main operation. The only reason I moved over there is because I wanted new scenery, considering this was a new update. And don't worry, the enchantment table is here. But I'm going to make another enchantment table for the achievement because it apparently doesn't count the achievement until after getting diamonds. Because I don't know why, it just does. So let's mine this stuff. Wow. See, this is why I refrained from mining obsidian in the previous... Oh, I don't want to break my glass. In the previous attempt, because I don't want that to happen. Now, I could pull, I don't know, a... What was that guy? The guy who had beat Minecraft, I forget his name. But some guy ended up getting harvesting so much obsidian that he used it as a, as a block to traverse locations. It was hilarious. Wow, obsidian just doesn't take that long to break, does it? Not really. What am I going down here? Let's actually patch it up properly. Good, now we can just look in here. Yeah, I'm using this as a lava source for now. But I figured if I'm gonna get the lava source, I might as well do the rest. Uh, personally, I'm not. I've never been a fan of the of the food system in this game. I always preferred the old beta way. Oh, yeah, I've been eating the bread in here because it just takes so long. Uh, okay. Good. So first, let's begin with this bookshelf stuff. Fifteen. How many books do I actually need? Five, four, uh, it's a four, 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 so I need 16 times two, 32. Wait, really? No way. What's wrong? Well, honestly, I'll just keep this one for the big bad uh, level 50 enchants, and then I'll have the other one over there just for the baby enchants. Just quick enchants, nothing too drastic. Oh yeah, so I finally fixed this section. Let's add this section here, just for the sake of adding to it. So, it'll, I'm just curious how high of an enchant can we get on these? 26, 30, I don't want a 5, 32. We should be able to get like 40, right? Yeah, 42. Yeah, it was always random, which I, I actually prefer the random system. Although I'll admit that it used to cost a lot back in the day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this here. No, I'm not going to have that yet. Not yet, anyways. Instead, we're going to leave that there for the big boy enchants, and then for the little boy enchants, we'll use the regular one. The bookcases go in their own desk. I had TNT a while ago, I just never used it. I wonder what I'm saving it for. That's for you guys to think about for a little bit. So let's make this book, this enchantment book, so we can get the achievement for it. Hmm. To collect all of my resources Book. and the obsidian. So we're finally moving up in the world. Minecraft is now good. Enchanter achievements. Okay. Deal eight hearts of damage in a single hit. Library and build some bookshelves to improve your table. Okay, let's do it right now. I might as well, right? So the crafting isn't fast yet, but that's okay. It's faster than it was in beta. Okay, librarian done. Good. We need to go deeper. I need to get 10 obsidian. No, I don't. Sniper mm, dual, wind picks fly. So we're making progress still. Into fire, center, center. I mean, realistically, we already have most of these achievements. 
It's just that the saddle achievement and the rail achievement are a pain. That's also why I, added, I started a new location, because I think I've harvested this area for many resources at this point that I'm not making much on returns anymore. Although it is nice to finally be in a bright area again. There's no way that's everything. I guess it is. And the good news is that mobs can no longer spawn next to us, so that this entire room construction was pointless. Albeit, it is nice to have this world get updated finally. You know what? Let's go in a single direction just to see what the updates do to the generation. Well, I guess we can always collect more arrows. Da 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 begins. Okay. I just want to see a chunk error. That's what I want to see. I miss chunk errors, which is kind of why I wanted to do this as well. I want to see a chunk error. I think chunk errors are cool. Do a soft biome, oh, marsh biome, technically. Whoa. Iron ore? I don't need it though. Here's a regular building block for this. And that's why I have different a different location and why I built the mega, mega base. Because I just wanted a new place to relax, you know? Ooh, new generation. I don't think swamp biomes existed back then. Am I correct? I don't know. Oh. This is rather flat terrain, though. I know this isn't a chunk error, because it would affect more than just this. But there has to be some cool terrain update, right? Pumpkins. Let's get them. I don't really think I need pumpkins, but I might as well get them. We have the equipment to get these now. Alright. We got a lot of equipment, uh, equipment, a lot of resources on us, so let's not waste too much time. I also don't like how food depletes now. So I mean, I guess they had to balance the run mechanic, but I think there was a better way to do it. All right, where are the pumpkins? I just saw them. There they are. Let's get. There's our chunk error over there. Do that ungenerated mountain, improperly generated mountain. So I'm gonna need a few of these. Four. Okay, that works. All right, we're gonna see how this improperly generated world is. And I'm sorry, sometimes I'll just blink out in silence. It's because I'm really focusing, and I want to make sure that I play skillfully. Yeah, look at that chunk error crap. That's the best, you know? Right here, this is what we want to see in our worlds. As many of these as possible. It's beautiful. These were my favorite parts of the world generation, just when they would look like this. Because it just looks so weird. But that lets me know that I'm playing Minecraft. You know? I realized something. I haven't played a game just to play a game in a long time. And I've noticed that I've become a lot more quiet in my more recent days. I'm not as rambunctious as I used to be when I was a young child. I mean, I'm still young, but I'm definitely definitely not a child anymore which is not a bad thing mind you it's good to be older wiser have more knowledge of the real world the the great aspects of it and shortcomings because there's not because the world is not perfection the world has ups and downs like everything else 
the world is great though and we should celebrate being alive in this world in this civilization because prior to it man things were messed up what is this light error i don't know and that's the point now i hope you guys really en enjoyed me talking about opportunity costs for a minute because i'm not gonna do it again not for a while but i just really like talking about things such as that I don't know, it's just so nice to me to talk about such, well, I guess oddities. I guess that's the best way to put it, oddities. Because I don't think other commentators would ever talk about opportunity costs in their videos. At least not ones I know. You know, the ones I knew growing up were just rude pricks in general. Kind of like how I was in the age-restricted episode. Because, wow, what we said in that video. I, I cannot believe I, I let that slide. All right, time to get some bacon. Awesome. Oh, crud. Um, what do I throw out? That works. And I mean it, everything is much brighter in this world. Although my food situation is now a bit more dire. Considering that now I need to eat instead of just play well. Then again, I never really played well. Not very. I do like that my trees did change color though. I think these are better colors than the trees I had in the prior to the update. Not the, not the white tree of Gondor, sadly, but my tree farm tree is. Mm -hmm. Oh, we need to collect a lot of obsidian first before we can continue. Mm, not yet. We'll do it at the other base. We'll collect all the obsidian later. And the door noise has changed. Good. You know what? Let's collect it here. Just so I can put it in the base. Because everything is great, okay? This beginning journey may be over, but the rest of it, it surely isn't. Alright. Now this is going to take a while, because Obsidian got a hardness update for some reason. Whoa. But at the current moment, at the least, I'm not worried about conserving the light in here anymore. We don't need this much obsidian. Uh, you become an obsidian block as well. Thank you. Because now we can build the portal. I mean, I already built the portal last time, but I figured I might as well do it the legitimate way. The way that the developers want you to, rather than the way I normally do it. Just to show off the the process of it. Because found out, you don't really need diamond to beat the game. In fact, at no point do you ever have to collect this item. You can beat the game with stone tools. I'm dead serious. I mean, you need... At bare minimum, you need three iron for the bucket. That's it. It's it's crazy, I know, but it is. That's that's the that's all you need to beat this game. Whoa. Well, let me options for controls. Where's key? You will be this one. No. Yeah. Okay. So let me go, yep, I now have to reach for it. That way I don't accidentally drop it by pressing Q. So why no classical music or any of that? Well, it's because I just want to talk this time around, and talking is very, very fun for me. Because I, at this point, I realized my role in this situation. I am an entertainer to you, not much else. You know, that's kind of what happens, okay? 
I mean, maybe for one chapter, I have an idea. One chapter, I just want to review like some, let's just call it an adult animation, but be very, very serious about it. Not even breaking out, not even giving a hint that we're joking and see if anyone co figures out why I'm doing it. I'm, I'm thinking we do either Shoujo Ramune or, or Maki Chanto now, if you guys know what those are. <laughs> But, you know, I, I need to see if I can get away with that first. I, I really have to look at how this website uses its tools to detect adult content. So I realize I don't need to make the cake for every update, but we will beat 1.1, 1 1.0. 1 we won't update from here. We have all the resources to properly beat the game. Now there's no more baby babysitting myself. Yay. Hmm. Do I talk to I can just put you back. Good. Yes, that portal is there and it'll haunt me forever. But so what? Uh... Awesome, let's go. I like how I can block hit now. It's just so nice to do. I don't know, just the animation looks so cool. To me. Specifically to me. I don't think this is how you were intended to hit things, but what I do know is that this is how I like fighting things. You're going to see me do that a lot. Occasionally, you'll see me go do this, you'll see me do this, you'll see me hold it, you'll see me just spam this. But for the most part, this will be our main attack strategy. This is a bane of Anthropod's sword, sadly. Anthropod's arthropods. Arthropods, but you know, I wonder how I can get skins in here. And now, from a distance, this base is not finished, obviously, but behold, the sky base. I don't know what to call it. Yikes. Wow, there are instantly more enemies to deal with. Awesome. I'm not too big on collecting sulfur at the moment, but I will need string. Not right now, we can get string later. We already have the bow. So right now we're gonna get full enchant, baby. If you're wondering, I used a level 5 enchant for this uh, sword. Nothing too special. No! Why does that block damage, by the way? Okay. You wanna do this? Let's play. Burn, prick. Bye. Are you really gonna fight me, Mr. Creeper? Do you really want to kill yourself that badly? I guess you do. Sorry, but I'm not AA. AA, why, why is this Creeper an alcoholic? I don't know. That was... Kinda dark. Anyway, so this farm is gonna be used so that I can make a secondary tree farm. And this is a much more dangerous build. I understand that completely. But hey, sometimes you gotta live life on the edge. Because we're on the edge of glory. And of course, you guys, just to show off my super cool fighting moves in this game. Because I realized, part of what makes the beta so hard is that the combat is radically different. You know what, though? I have an idea for this design, okay? So the idea is that we were gonna use these glass panes to do this. However, I wanna do something cool. I want 
to make this section also part of the portal. So what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of that, put these two here, like so. And then this section will be removed. One, two, three. One, two, oops, oopsie daisy, I made a mistake. Oops, I made it again, blah, blah, blah. Which kind of sucks because now you have to sit through me breaking this obsidian block. But hey, I've done this a million times. I think we all have at some point. I have to go down there, don't I? Yes, I do. Great. I didn't want to. But we're going to have to. <sighs> Great. Maybe we're going to use this glass to place the obsidian. Okay. Well, if I must go, I'm going to do it during the day. Yes, this entire room just for the bed. Why? Because I want this to be the ultimate base. And of course, I left the flint and steel down there. No big issue. Crap. Ugh. Broke my ankles again. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. There's the obsidian. And now there's a forest fire, which is fine, because Smokey the Bear isn't real, after all. Besides, this deforestation will give me more incentive to plant trees, thus driving up the economic value of the tree farm. Bye! Well, it's true, because if there's less competition, i.e. the natural woods, there's more incentive to make the tree farm. <laughs> I probably sound like a cold-hearted prick for saying that. But it's true, and I know what I'm saying is true. Let it all burn, then. <laughs> While my sky base remains an impeccable feat of ingenuity and a symbol of human might. <laughs> Wee. Anyways, let's put some stuff in the chest so that I'm not wasting my time. Good. Very good. We're still working on the tree farm, huh? Everything will be fine. I should have gravel somewhere here. Flint. And steel. Let's put it together. Oops. Very good. Normally I would keep flint and steel in the sh where the shovel would be if this was PvP. But guess what? This is not PvP. This is... Fighting. Sometimes I would switch out the torches, like, I mean, I'd always be carrying torches in the main hand, sometimes it's in the off hand. But, you know, that's how everything goes. That's how it all goes, in the end. No, it doesn't matter. Oops. Achievement build, right? But, I just, what? But, achievement! Whatever, let's go in then. Does this give me achievement? Cool, so this connects to this base that I built here. Wait, does that mean that it's gonna send me to the main base? Awesome, I now have a fast travel. Not what I wanted, but better than nothing, I guess. I can use this now to collect some resources. Like what? I don't know. But it's good to know that I could. So at the very least, the sky base is no longer the end. Print. Hold on. If I break this one. What? I guess uh, 1.0 glitches the doors. That's fine. I figured I would. I figured this was far enough that they wouldn't even be in the same area that they wouldn't merge. That's cool. But hey, we've now gone into the nether. Ah, that's good. We're still working on this railroad. This will not finish. And this will be probably the last thing we finish, if not for the saddle. Who knows how long this is going to take. 
this is the let's play of me not editing things out at the very least you know i'm not cheating okay you guys know that everything you see me build for the most part you'll see me build it all of it no but a good amount of it yes Oh, can we get steak now? I'm pretty sure steak is in the game now. Let's go! Awesome, steak is in the game. That's meaning that pigs are no longer the optimal mob. Cows are. And believe me, this sky base is going to get bloody massive. It's just a work in progress right now. Or as I called it, the the tower at one point. Yikes, hunger is so fast in this game. I mean, it's cool that we can run now. But is this really the price I had to pay? Maybe. And now there's less trees. I can move around more freely up here. Good to know that, like, oh, it's not. Oh, the shift button, we do it. Good. This section here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. We'll think of something. I'll think of something. I'm sorry. That wasn't very polite of me. Okay. Well, at the very least. This section will be completed regardless of faults. Mostly because I don't want to fall off while coming out of the nether. That would kind of suck, you know? Alright, let's complete this section. Do 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 Okay, when that happens. Because the problem with that is that glass doesn't up here, I have to get silk touch now, which really sucks. But you know what? This the is the price you pay of using a clear material. It allows me to see outside of the base more often, and at the very least, we're gonna get a much more efficient, efficient food farm because wow, the old one so bad. Hmm. I might actually not have an excuse to start farming animals. Maybe. Maybe I have an excuse to farm animals now. Who knows? Who definitely knows indeed. You know what? I'm gonna put some nice classical music in here. And don't worry, I'm not gonna be whistling like I was in the first episode to that extreme ear grating. Ear grating noise. Just nicer. Uh, classical music. Why am I on? Why am I on caps lock? There we go. Uh, and number lock. Good. Mm, let's go for this one. I will have to lower the volume, sadly. Whoa. I don't want it muted. I don't want to be able to hear it. Awesome. Awesome indeed. Because that's what we need. We need these nice musical tracks. Oh, well, is that really at that low? I oh, know it has to be. Okay, I'm going to lower that volume when I get to it in the main recording. Uh, you won't be able to hear it as loudly as it was. Although you will still be able to hear it, unlike the other attempts. So this room is mostly finished. I intended on keeping it open, but I figured it just wouldn't fit with the motif. So we're going to patch it up. Okay. Although this is going to be a much larger tower. At the very least, we will now have access to the awesome view. Because that's why I wanted to go to the sky. To get a view of the world. You know, ladies and gentlemen, behold the sky base. It's a sky base for a reason. Pillar to the sky. 
Now see everything beneath you as you place your boot on it. Wow, that sounded really condescending. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was, uh, I did not mean for it to sound like that. Okay, um, how should I reward that then? I don't know. Although at least now I, there's an incentive to go into the nether rather than just stalling it out. I will make new equipment though for the nether travel. Don't worry, I won't make full diamond because it's not worth it. Or maybe it is, I don't know. But what I do know is, it's going to be massive, this location. Okay. This is the end, the nether portal room, where we will get all our stuff regarding the nether. Por the nether. This place will be designed to be bright. And I will have some fence cages, just in case some disturbing creatures opt to join us from the other world. Or, I don't know why that theory came out recently that it's that nether is the past and the end is the far, far future. You know, it's... I get it. I totally see the connection. It just doesn't feel like something Mojang would do. I don't know. Maybe I'm just insane or something. Hmm. Okay, clearly this is not the design I was going for, but hey. Let's just make this one super top-heavy then. Yes. Just so we can claim that we have this awesome design. You know what? Let's even go one step further and add this section. We maybe, maybe in the future, I'll replace this with nether rack and fire. But for the time being, we are not going to do that. And again, I keep saying we, even though you guys are not playing. Well, you gentlemen and ladies are not playing. How's that? Uh, you know, originally I was going to call you guys, um, instead of ladies and gentlemen, I was originally going to say, uh, uh, welcome masters and mistresses, but the thing is that I don't know how YouTube would put that. In addition, I don't want to make myself seem weak. Uh, it's just not something I like doing. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. And the reason I'm making this super up high into the sky is because I like seeing things and I think you like seeing things as well so it'd be a conflict of interest to not do so this is really nice music by the way okay so this is how it's going to look the sky base <laughs> Let's add one more to the top just to make it even more epic. Just to make it one block higher. Just to be condescending to the enemies so that we can go even higher than they can. Watch mobs still spawn on here. I'm calling it right now. They're gonna spawn on here and they're gonna kill me. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get like a creeper spawning in here somehow. I'm calling it. A creeper's gonna spawn in here, blow me up. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna survive it somehow, but then I'm gonna be sent to the floor. I'm gonna attempt to boat I'm gonna attempt to water bolt to water bucket clutch it and still lose. I'm making that bet right now. Mm-hmm. That's right. Uh the reach was not updated, so I still can't go five blocks distance when mining. But that's about it. Oh yeah, I'll show you the new mine shaft. It's very similar to the Diamond Mining Saga mine shaft, only nowhere near as deep because that level of depth didn't exist yet. Nothing! Ah! And if you guys know where that's from, uh, consider yourself cultured movie viewer because that was a good movie. I, I understand some people think it was boring. I'll, I'll admit the start is kind of slow, you know. Are you just going to stand there? Like a statue of liberty? You know, the dialogue wasn't not perfect it was still really good okay we're going through here now awesome we can now see below us specifically when we're perched on the bed we the world is our play is our play thing i don't know what do you guys want to say anyway so going back to a previous content uh content uh, commentary point and that would be the 
the Yu-Gi-Oh girls. We finished up Arc 5, kind of. We only really- Okay, so let's do- Let's do the Arc 5 girls really quickly. Hiragi Yuzu, Serena, Dean, and Dudi. Um, I really liked how they treated Dean. As in- No, they didn't. They just made her a damsel in distress. But hey, we all have different entertainments. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, I've always been a fan of the- of the prince saves the princess from the castle trope, you know. I know a lot- I know that in the modern day, it's not as cool or as popular of a, of a narrative. But, you know, it just holds a nice little place where I am that I think is nice. Anyways, this is going to be the next storage room, and then upstairs will be the enchantment room one floor above. Why am I formatting it like this? I'm not sure. Because I can. And eventually this lava is going to stop spreading, right? I know that the lava takes a really long time to disappear, but it can't take this long. Well, honestly, now I'm not sure. Who knows, really? Who knows, indeed. Although, I do like how the upper floor now is just the sky base. And I do like how it looks, too. Is it a perfect look? Not really, but does it fit the aesthetic? Of course, it fits the aesthetic. Why else would I construct it in such a manner other than to fit the aesthetic? Not sure. I'm not sure if you guys actually like me showing build a building of the base, or if you just want me to build it off screen. Now, I want to build it on screen, just so you guys see that I did it, mind you. And we are going to defeat the Ender Dragon. That has always been the plan. That never left. I just like doing things while we're waiting. So this is actually going to be not the enchantment room. This is going to be storage room two. Enchantment room. Originally that was tree farm, storage, master bedroom, and then crop farm upstairs. There was just one extra floor that I never did anything with. And I'm talking about the old personal world before that got deleted. Ooh, I love this music. You know, this right now is we're playing uh, the Devil's Trill Sonata by Giuseppe Tartini, and I totally butchered that name. I don't care. And I'm gonna need a lot of wood and cobblestone. Okay, if you guys think this built base is massive now. Don't worry, we're getting there. And this is gonna be another tower location. Well, the upstairs was really the the construction zone. This is the base, the the super mega base that I was super proud of. And of course, we'll add to it as we go along. Maybe this could become the brewery plus cauldron stand location. Yeah, let's make that what it is. Let's make this the cauldron location. So first, let me look up how to make cauldrons, because it's been a while. Here's my infinite water source, if you guys are curious. So I believe that making a cauldron was as easy as doing this. Oops. Yep. Awesome. And if it seems as if I am rather... Not, I'm not stingy at all when it comes to making these rather expensive items it's because, well, I have no need to be stingy. Right, let's use a wood. Let's just use a piece of wood for this. Awesome. That's going to be where we put the, the stand. Oh, I have a diamond hole in my inventory right now. Let's put it away. And the only place diamond holes would go here. And with this. Maybe I should start putting these, you know, to good use, but the truth is that the storage units are built in a way that I never have to worry about what's in them. That's a bit disingenuous, I do eventually have to worry about them, and I do want to make the rail track longer, so let's do it. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I meant to... Let's get the arrow before it despawns first. What? Oh, come on. Hi, Creeper. Let's do this. Fight me, Creeper. Where are you? 
Hi, Creeper. Let's fight. Good. See, that fighting is just so much easier in this update. And it's easier to move around, and when I have a somewhat better keyboard than the one I was using previously, it's even easier to do so. Come on. This should get rid of the lava more effectively, and I think it looks cool. I think it just adds that hint of mysteriousness. It's like, why is it structured like this? Why is there cobblestone in just random places? Well, now you know. The cobblestone is there because we can put it there. And this little thing is going to look really nice. I don't want it to just be a QR code. QR code. We. Oops. We. What else? Oh. I meant to get more cobblestone. No, I didn't. I meant to keep working on this really quickly. Uh, for so many. Oops. Two of these. I need 32. Oh, how old are you? 32. No lolly for you if you guys watch uh, Nanoni. Yeah, yeah, I found out that uh, Nanoni changed the name. Of the channel it's a pretty unique name i'll give it that credit we won't be needing glass for a bit what else what else indeed all oh, right we need to make levers oh can i make buttons now let me check no Still no buttons. That's okay. It's very much okay. I mean, why would we there be able? To, why would we have that option yet if we can't beat that with bows yet? Oops. Okay. So now let's do this. Feels weird to have stackable food in my inventory now that I've been playing beta. Okay. Let's add to the rail. Wait a minute, I haven't put the enchantment table down. I'll put it in the chest first. Now, as you guys can hear, there's always mobs, and I play with mob sounds turned on for one reason. I don't want to get snuck up on. That would suck. Now, I'm usually a more resourceful player. I usually don't make all these items, but, you know, after having that interesting little discussion with myself about opportunity cost, I realized it's worth it. Oops. No, break, 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 break. Good. Very good. Indeed. I have to make two more then. And before I enchant, I will be making diamond armor. Because unlike the modern day, diamond armor back then actually meant something. Okay, you know what? Let's build with stone if we can. You know why else? Because we have diamond tools. We can harvest sand really quickly. Yeah, you see how fast this is? Compared to stone tools, it's absurd. Yeah, this uh, currently Symphony Number no. Nine MDMT Four by Antonin Drava uh, Dvorak. Dvorak, I think. Dvorak. Dvorak. Yeah, Dvorak. Let's use that name. He's probably spinning in his grave saying, "What are you doing? That's not how you pronounce my name." Well, he excited it's gonna be in his late native tongue or something. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, let's do this. I need to put torches so that I don't get a mob spawned on me. And it's nice to have lighter, brighter torches, you know, it, it was really depressing getting to play in such dark con conditions. Not to the point of, you know, self-harm or anything, you know, I'm not, I'm not that weak. But it was, you know, I think it was uh, psychologically affecting my gameplay. Uh, no, I don't want to use wood. I want to be consistent with this. Alright. 
All right. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to finish this base. It's going to look epic. Bloody epic. Who knows what I'm going to do in this base, mind you. Maybe I'll attempt to get an animal farm in there. Who knows? Who really knows at this point? Wow, I just don't have any cobblestone. Do I have any in the mine? Alright, I can show off the mine now. Food is going to check that. Update design. Who thought food was a good idea? Although, it is nice to have to run around with full hearts for most of the gameplay. And not just for some of it, right? The F5 command is still on the main keyboard. So this isn't really mined out yet. In fact, I've only I've only done one tunnel. Oh, the bedrock fog. It's so nice. I missed it. I don't have any. I've used all the cobblestone. No, I don't want to make an. I have used all the cobblestone. You can fast travel to get more cobblestone. There's no way it takes this long to travel through stairs, does it? Whatever. So I guess I have to start mining again. Great. I didn't want to do it, but we're here. Let's do it. But first, let's eat something. For the health bar. Because now we have to manage this. And so, I guess it's more accurate to survival, you know. We do have to manage our food intake in survival. Make sure we get enough to eat. In the real world. You know what? No, I'm going to show you guys some diamond mining again. Now, don't worry. This isn't the diamond mining saga part 4. We're not, I'm not doing that to you guys. Yet. I don't have a... I have a spider spawner that I can use. I just don't want to use it. And this part is still untouched because I'm not ready with this part yet. Oh my gosh, the mobs are here. How do you even get here? I don't know. Or die, apparently. Yeah. Alright, because so I haven't put lighting here at all. I just put up... Place where mobs can spawn, that's not good. Life of plastic. That's fantastic. Come on, buddy. Let's go party. You know what? Let's put the enchantment room above there. So what we're gonna do is we're going to Right, I don't have cobblestone. I have to go back. No whatever. It's not like I haven't done this before. So first we're putting all of this away. Okay. Yeah, the reason I have so much wood here is because I don't ever want to run out of it while I'm doing some mining excursions. And I may as well show off just how effective the new mine is in terms of resource collection. Now let's carry dirt on us with a building as the building block. No, let's just not carry a building block. Let's just go down there and start doing things. At least the of all the swords to get, the one that kills spiders is probably the best one I could have gotten, considering how annoying spiders are. I wonder how long I've been filming. I have no idea. I haven't checked. I'm not gonna check until I finish the video. This is not. You see, it gets darker, and then up here there's no effect, but starting here it gets the effect, and then bam, it's pitch black in here. I like it. It really shows you how deep you are. Hold on, I found out something about the beta. I mean, the full release. Let's count. Oh, so much better. So I should do one trip through this thing. It shouldn't take too long. Yes. Of course, I'll do more mining off screen. This is just so I can show you guys the process of collecting items, okay? Which means there's a lava lake above here. Okay. 
Okay. So now let's start mining in this direction. See if I can find it. Awesome. Here's the lava lake. Let's get it all. Come on. Oh wow, it's even a higher level now. How much lava is here? Ooh, there's a cave here. That's why. All of this is being... No, there's no way. Okay. Well, we found the cave section. It goes up there, too. I wonder what's there. I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. But what I do know is we can now get rid of this. More effectively. Yes. Let's get rid of this lava leak. So in other words, what these do, sadly, is we now found a death a death spot in the mine. Which means that this one will now be, for the sake of simplicity, shut off. It's too much of a safety hazard. That's what we do when there's lava, it's just what I found in the new update is that I didn't get much lava. I'm not sure if that's a feature or a bug. I just didn't get much lava. Hmm. Now, I know that the mining strategies are a bit different back then. I don't remember how different they were. Three, four. We're going to be surrounded by lava eventually. Eventually, because this, there's no way this mine lasts that long. And if it does, what we do from there? Oops. Form. What we end up doing from there is simple. We start making branching pathways. Effectively, the goal is to dig around the lava, not through it. And I admit that this can lead to some maze designs. I mean, absolute maze-like design. But that's okay. You don't need everything to be nice and organized. You just need it to look good. This is a death map. This is a death path, though. Dead path. I wonder how many diamonds I can get, though. Great. Oh, we found this trap. You know, how about this? Instead of just um, getting rid of it, just put a trap there so we know there's lava. Okay, that just lets us know what there is. Good. Two, three, four. So how long am I planning on going with this? Not too much longer. I mean, I have to do some things for school soon. I just figured that I had extra time to make this video because of... Great. <sighs> Wonderful. I know that there's a, this is a significant lava pool, but come on. Great. How big is this lava pool, by the way? There's no way it blocks out all of that. Good, this one, this place is still okay. I think I'm gonna get diamonds from here. That's a fact. Okay. Because I don't choose truth over fact. I choose the truth. Which is all the same, apparently. Great. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's a path. That gives us more iron, which is good. Now watch, I'm gonna end up finding more diamonds than I am going to find gold. I'm calling it now. Because that's just how this map likes to kill, likes to deteriorate my sanity over time. And I know I, could, I should be getting fortune and enchants and all that. But truth is, I'm not too big of a worry wart on that. When we get them, we'll get them when we get them. How's that? We, we could just get full diamond right now and enchant it with level 1 enchants. I don't want to do that. Not yet, anyhow. 
I just realized Redstone's not giving me enchantment levels. How come? I'm not actually sure. Okay. Save him. No. I do not know indeed. What I do know is that I can see in this bloody mines now instead of being hopelessly scared of the dark. Oh, uh, you guys remember that? I mean, if you've been watching the series, of course you remember that. Uh, this was quite the recording section. It really is. Look at all this coal we're getting. It's so good. Coal is so good because we love to smelt resources. Yeah, smelting resources. Cause that's what we want to do, guys. We want to smelt things because by smelting things, we can add to the railroad. And by adding to the railroad, we can get new chunks to generate in 1.0. Which leads to more delicious chunk errors. The reason I like chunk error mining is because it, it enables... It just makes it easier to find resources on the side. You know? I know it's exploitative, but that's part of the game. Part of the code and everything, so it's not wrong of me to do so. Woohoo! Awesome. I did say I would only take you guys through one trip, don't worry. This isn't too bad. And we are making progress. You know, eventually we're gonna get to the nether, guys, okay? We're going to make progress. Diamonds, okay, awesome. This pick has paid for itself now. There's no- watch how there's a lava pocket right underneath this one. Nope. There's nothing here. Awesome. So... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And yes, I know that the... That the nice little... Torches are much better than they are back- than they were back then, but come on. I want to eventually get to new games, I swear. Not much I do. Problem is that Minecraft is just so long of a game. And whatever you think of this Let's Play, you know at the very least I'm genuine. That I'm not, you know, doing anything to clickbait my videos. Everything I'm doing is for the sake of entertaining the, well, you, ladies and gentlemen. That That's the truth. Uh, I mean, I know that I'm doing this mostly for my own fun, because this is this is why I want to do it. Just so I can, you know, have make it productive, my time-wasting abilities. But at the very least, at the very, very least, I'm making good on my abilities to keep going. And also because, you know, it just gives me something to work towards. It's fun. It's a goal. Five, di five diamonds, we now have a pick and a sword again. For new enchants. I really need it. The Nutcracker Dance. Ah, oh, what a nice song. We all love this song. I don't know why people like this song, but I like it. Awesome. Great. I wonder if this is... If I haven't broken a single... I think this is still the same shovel. No, it's not. Uh, the original shovel despawned. When I was looking for it originally a bunch of parts ago not even much of a ago i think it was the last part of the things went missing but hey at least now i can say it with confidence this is the rise of the sky base episode what should i call it ah should i should i should pull from my novel and call it suicide tower v2 oh wait so if you guys didn't read my book the suicide tower was kind of a ripoff of the of the death t shenanigans from season zero of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> that's honestly the best way i can explain it as in that uh, these guys played games and if you lost you would die the only difference is that my team didn't win every game my team lost the team that i created you know for the story lost many games they ended up actually i'm not going to spoil the ending in the book but what I will spoil is that they weren't invincible Mary Sue characters who won every single game. Now, don't get me wrong. I Yu-Gi-Oh! is one of the few shows where I want the protagonist to be overpowered. 
No other show makes me want the protagonist to be overpowered except Yu-Gi-Oh for some reason. And I'm not sure what's causing that. Anyways, on to the other girls. You know, Hiragi Yuzu, I'll give her credit. She beat Yuya, albeit as a as a default. Although her conf her completed form as they did end up defeating Zark, so yeah, I'll give her a pass. I think she is the first Yu-Gi-Oh girl to ever beat the main lead. Because Aki sure as hell didn't do it. <laughs> Anzu didn't do it. Kotori lost after only using three cards. Uh, yeah, and there's no way the, any of the side gar girls did it either. Rebecca, okay, Rebecca technically won by surrender. I'm not gonna count that. Okay, no, I'm gonna count it. Rebecca beat Yugi. But other than that, it didn't really happen. Besides, Rebecca's a filler character, not canon. So who cares? Gold! Finally! We can continue with the rail track system. Now, I said one trip, but what constitutes one trip? This definitely isn't one trip. We have the upstairs. And that's why this is such an effective mining technique. It gives us so many, so much access to mining. Now, this is shut off and this is shut off, but eventually we're going to go back to it. I'll put the dirt away, though. And the redstone. And we'll leave. We'll leave about 16 redstone on us at all times. 29 iron. Wow, we made... We got another set again, so you see all this iron? We can replace it. But that's it. That's all we got in terms of blocks. You know what? This part has been going on for a real long time. I'll do the rest of the mining off screen. Thank you guys for what thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching this part. You know what? Let's harvest this piece of iron first and then call it the part. Okay. Now the part is over. Have a nice day. How do I end it with this keyboard? Wait, how do I use this keyboard? Oh here it is.